Versus Demetrius Andrade. It, it is time. It is time. Let's talk. Straighter. Yep. Not yep. a roundhouse yep. right here. And that's what we've been talking about. The straight shot. It's the one where he gets leverage on it. I don't want to kill Pull somebody back for a, a little bit. Seconds. Nah, I want a body on my record. Now, I want to see you fight motherfuckers. I do. All right, I'm with you. I'm with you. As long as, as long as you're trying to fight the great, the here or the, the the best competition. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Mary, you alive? I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we're here. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Mary, you alive? I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we're here. Fight the best if you ain't with the moto. Just click the link, bitch, and get buried like the rest. It ain't gonna work how you want it. These trolls already tried, too many come but don't leave. So if you hear, you gotta die. Spitting straight facts. These bitches crying cause they hate that. The LDBC's the top topic, bitch. Hate that. Be the best to bring the truth to these fans. So why you hate? I'm a laugh and keep counting these bands. Come to the graveyard. Click the link, get the hands. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we don't hear you. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we don't hear you. Welcome to the graveyard. Jamal Charlo has been consistently saying of how, how he will not fight Demetrius Andrade. Because Demetrius Andrade doesn't sell. No one knows Demetrius Andrade. Um, blah, 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 and yada, yada, yada. I am a Jamal Charlo fan. I am. All right? I am. But I am telling you, it is time to fight Demetrius Andrade. There is no reason for this fight to not happen. You just said you want to be um, the... I believe you're the top guy in the middleweight division. But you just said you want to reign supreme. Um, you made these weird-ass claims about telling you want to bring Canelo and Golovkin to Houston. Bro, you don't dictate anything to them. The real shit. No, I think you're the best. You don't dictate nothing to them. Not a damn thing. Because if you did, you would have fought them already. You dictate nothing. Nothing. The best you can do is actually get a fight with them. That's the best you can do. There is no reason for you to not fight Demetrius Andrade. There's no reason. There is a backstory built in. That'll be the best opponent on your career for both of y'all. There's no reason for that fight to not happen. At this point, there is no reason. None. You're saying you want to dominate um, the, the middleweight division. It's your division. I got it. I'm rocking with you. I'm rocking with the lion, bro. Dominate the division. Well, if you're dominating a division, don't you have to dominate Demetrius Andrade? Isn't that a fight? Isn't that a fighter you need to dominate as well? You're saying this is what you say is your division. Well, he's in your division. You're the king of the division. Well, he believes he's a king of the division. You can't have two kings in one division. There's only one king in a division. There can't be two kings. He believes he's that dude. So since he believes he's that dude, and you believe you're that dude, you don't see uh, Bum Lofkin saying nothing. You don't see Toyota Murata saying nothing. You see Demetrius Andrade and Jamal Charlo. That's what you see. Now, I've held off on going too deep into this fight and speaking on this fight so heavy. I've held off um, because of the haters, the hate that Jamal Charlo gets. Um, the disrespect that he gets, you know, and most of it's from racists because they're always trying to pit two black people against each other, you know, on a constant basis. So I held off on speaking about this, but at this point, there is no other fight, bro. Jamal, listen, bro, Bum Lofkin is not going to fight you. 
I don't give a fuck how you looked against Pino, who nobody knows, who nobody cares about, who has never sold anything. You know all the excuses and reasons why you said you won't fight Demetrius Andrade. Nobody knows Pino and no one gives a fuck about Pino. They are now looking at you differently because he is a no one that no one knew and you were supposed to destroy him. And Monguia knocked this man out. However he did it, whatever the case may be, Monguia knocked this man out. So you were supposed to annihilate this man. You're a better fighter than Munguia. I believe that 100%. You were supposed to annihilate this dude. You were supposed to stop this man, destroy this man. That's what you were supposed to do. But you didn't. Against a fighter that nobody knows and no one cares about. They didn't even want you to fight this dude. Yes, he was ranked number four. So the fuck what? Demetrius Andrade is a champion. You are not fighting anybody else, bro. There is no reason for you to fight anybody else. The, the, the only good fighter out there that I would say it, it would be a good matchup for you to fight with good name recognition and stuff of that nature is Chris Eubank. And if you're not going to fight Chris Eubank and you're not going to fight Jaime Manguia, then Demetrius Andrade is the only realistic option. And Demetrius Andrade is shitting on you, bro. Like, the backstory is already written. The backstory is built. The history is there. You can get some get back for your brother, bro. Just same way that Vladimir, I mean, Vitaly Klitschko did, did, uh, did for um, uh, Vladimir. The same way after Corey, um, whatever the fuck his name is, beat um, uh, Vladimir Klitschko. Then Vitaly came back and fought that man. And beat him. Consistently getting get back for his little brother. Well, this is your opportunity to get, get back for your brother. This is your opportunity. Alright? This is this is your chance, bro. Demetrius Andrade shitted on your brother, bro. He was supposed to fight that man. He pulled out and shitted on him. Disrespected him. Disrespected the brand, the family, the whole shit. This is your opportunity to beat this nigga up. This is your time to get your get back and beat him up. You can you can beat the man up, get your get back, and get paid. And get a belt. This is a win, 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 win situation. And I still believe that you beat that man. I believe you knocked this man out. Me personally, I believe that. Do you? Like, do you believe it? Do you believe that you beat Demetrius Andre? Like, what's the holdup, bro? At this point, bro, that what is the don't tell me, oh, I'm I'm never gonna give that man a payday, but but you're giving yourself a payday. The fuck is you talking about? Oh man, I'm never nah, I'm never gonna fight him. Nobody knows him. Who the fuck knew Pino? Who the fuck gave a fuck about um that Adams dude or or or, or fucking Hulk Hogan? No one cared about these motherfuckers you was fighting. Nobody gave a fuck at all, bro. Sergey Devranchenko. That's what we cared about. That's it, bro. <laughs> That's it. That, there you go. That was it. Demetrius Andrade is a fight that you... That's a legacy fight, bro. It's a legacy fight. You got to fight this dude. You must fight this man. Just like Cinnamon Clitoris must fight you. That is a legacy fight for Cinnamon Clitoris. He must fight you. You fighting Demetrius Andrade is a legacy fight. If you do not fight this man, they're going to look at you. They ain't going to look at Andrade. They're going to look at you. History will look at you. This ain't the same situation as Errol Spence and Bud Crawford, which I'll speak on. This is not the same. History will look at you. You are the man that can make this fight. History will look at you as the man holding it up. That man is over there like, listen, bro, what's up? What's up? He is not doing what Bud is. Oh, I'll never fight this man. I'm never going to fight him. He's not saying that. Demetrius Andrade is like, what's popping? Let's fight. Let's unify. You say you're the man in the division. I say I'm the man in the division. Let's clear this shit up. You got a belt. I got a belt. Let's fight each other. Bum Lufkin don't want to fight me. He don't want to fight you either. Cinnamon Clitoris don't want to fight me. He don't want to fight you either. So fuck it, my nigga. Let's fight each other. Let's clear this shit up. We're both going to get a big ass payday. And one of us is going to have two belts and have the claim to fame to be the man in the division. What's the hold up? There is no reason for Jamal Charlo to not fight Demetrius Andrade. None. Oh, oh, well, oh, I, I don't, I don't like matchroom. So, 
So, if you don't like Eddie Hearn and you don't like Matchroom, then cripple them. Take the belt. Demetrius Andrade will still be signed to the zone, and he will be a nothing nobody with no belt. And a loss. Go take it. Cripple him. You're hurting Matchroom by taking the belt. You're hurting Eddie Hearn. He's the one out here running his mouth. Oh, well, you know, Jamal Charlo. He, he didn't want to know. This is so hard. It's mad. You're delusional. It's so hard to get a fight for Demetrius Andrade. Yet, you're also the promoter of Canelo Alvarez. <laughs> so you can't get two fighters that you promote a fight against each other. It's so hard. All right, whatever. That's a whole other story. But even in that respect, you can cripple Matchroom, Canelo, uh, Eddie Hearn, all of them, because Canelo may wrap around and fight Demetrius Andrade. He, that, that fight may happen. It can potentially happen. He may wrap around and fight this man. Maybe he moves him up to 168 and fights him, but whatever. He may wrap around and fight this man. But if you've already beat him, you take some of the lackluster away from that fight. Some of the shine is gone. Because you beat Demetrius Andrade. You took his belt. If you do not fight Demetrius Andrade, then why not? I don't want to speculate. I'm not going to say you're ducking the man in fear. But it's getting to that point, though. It's getting to that point. There is no reason for you to not fight Demetrius Andrade. I believe you beat this man. I believe you beat him. I do, bro. I think I don't I don't believe that Jamal Charlo beats Demetrius Andrade. I believe he knocks him out. I believe Jamal, Jamal Charlo stops Demetrius Andrade. That's what I believe. Now prove me right. Beat this man. He's trying to fight you. Go fight him. You ain't fighting nobody else. This ain't the Errol Spence Terrence Crawford saga where you got other champions you can fight to unify and clean up your side before you go get that one. Ain't none of that. That's just you and him. That's all that is left. That's it. Bum Luff can refuse to fight you. That's it. And he's fighting. He's unifying anyway. The fuck is we talking about here? Go fight Andrade, bro. Because if you do not fight Andrade, then um, my videos and conversation will be a little bit different. And this is no threats. This, this, this is what it is. It just is what it is. If you don't fight Andrade, then why aren't you? Oh, I don't want to give him a payday. But you're giving yourself a payday. Oh, he can't fight. Well, then it's an easy fight. Oh, man, he don't, don't nobody know him. Good, then go take his belt. Just very simple. BFTB. Shout out to the LDBC. And I'm out.